Hello, and welcome to the demonstration of the Virtuoso Hybrid Infrastructure Self-Service Interface, the view for end users. First, you'll be brought to the credential screen. When upon successful login, you will be brought to the dashboard with an at-a-glance view of the user's resources. As you can see, we already have multiple virtual instances created, and those instances are going to consume both vCPUs as well as gigabytes or terabytes of memory. We can also see the list of the virtual machines with resources. And if we go to the upper right, you'll see where users can manage various widgets that are available. Next, let's show the self-service compute screen. Here, we can see a list of services that are available both virtual machines, Kubernetes as a service, virtual networks and routers, as well as load balancer, load balancers as a service. We can also manage these resources. We can manage security groups, the implementation of firewall rules to secure your instances, images where you can find your ISO images and OS templates, volumes, where you can manage your storage volumes for your virtual machines, as well as your Kubernetes clusters and your volume snapshots. You can also manage your floating IPs from your public network, as well as your SSH keys to manage access across your instances. Let's actually look at those in a little bit more detail. As you can see, for demonstration purposes, we've already created some resources here. For example, we created a private network for our virtual machines and the router with the network address translation or NAT to connect our private network with the public network. I also wanna make a quick note and show that you can also change the language of preference here in, in the panel. Now let's look at actually creating a new virtual machine. Here, we can see several virtual machines. The test virtual machine we've actually created, it's named test VM 101, and the virtual machines from the Kubernetes cluster. But let's actually create a new one. The first step is we've got to choose our name. Here, we'll call it test VM 102. Second, we need to select the image or the volume to create a new virtual machine from. In most cases, we'll be using images, but in case you want to create a new VM based on an existing volume from a previously created VM, you can use the existing volume. Here, let's select sent OS 8, OS template. As VHS uses OpenStack as the orchestration platform, service providers and customers alike can use any OpenStack compatible template here. For example, Templates provided for OS distros like CentOS, Ubuntu, or Debian. Next, the system will create the default boot volume based on the image that you select. If you want to add a new volume to store the database data, for example, this is where you can do that. You can add that here. The next step is we've, we, we need to select our flavor. The flavor defines the size of your desired instance, the number of vCPUs, and the amount of memory. We're going to select a medium flavor. Next, we need to define the network settings for the virtual machine. Great. On this screen, we can manage IPs and security settings for the instance. If we'd like, we can add one or multiple IP addresses automatically or manually. Here, we can also select the security group, which defines the firewall rules for the network interface. And we're gonna select the default, allow all in the security group for now, uh, and we'll show you how to modify that later. We'll also show you how to create a new security group and manage the rules for it. By the way, you can add multiple network interfaces to the instances if preferred, okay? Next, we should also add 
the SSH key to make sure we can connect with our new instance. And if you need to customize your virtual machine after it's created, you can also add a cloud init script. Cloud init is the cloud standard, of course, for the way of customization so your customers can use any cloud init script that they prefer. We can go and hit deploy. And while we're waiting for the new instance to be deployed, let's review what we can do with the existing instances. For existing virtual machines, we can do the following basic operations. Number one, of course, we can open up, by the way, uh, you can see the virtual machine we created has been successfully created. We'll come back to that. But how can we manage existing uh, virtual machines? We can, of course, open up the console for the virtual machine. We can perform some power operations. We can, of course, restore the VM from the rescue image or from the restore CD in case of a VM uh, un unavailability. And you can add more volumes, network interfaces, or change your network properties at any time. If you switch to the monitoring tab, you will see the performance graphs for the instance. In the current version, customers can increase the size of the volume without stopping the VM. Starting from the next release, customers will also be able to change the flavor online for the supported operating systems. As we can see, our VM was successfully created. So let's go back to that and review the next service. 